right, let me squeeze in. All right. It's so warm. It's so warm. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. In there, we're good. This is Jackie with All Access, and I'm here with Boy Meets World here hey. at the Orlando Orlando stop of the Van Zorp Tour. Uh, Boy Meets World, you guys are in an, a unique position that you are not technically touring on Warped, but well, you are. On Warped. Well, yeah, you're definitely you know traveling. We're traveling. We're here every single day. We just don't play every day. Okay. And tell us a little bit about, about that. You are helping with the catering. Yes, we, uh, we get up, we feed the bands breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. We help out. We uh, load out the kitchen. We do all that stuff. Um, we just help out anywhere needed, really. Have you learned any uh, good recipes or good tips that, like, hey, you could take home and I can make that? Um, see, we don't really cook the food. We just, like, serve it. So the chefs, we got the top chefs. I make the coffee in the morning. I get lots of compliments. Okay, okay. No, I won't ask that next question. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. You didn't spit in anyone's food lately, have you? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, no one's made me mad enough yet. Well, that's there good. There is five days left, so don't push us. <laughs> you heard them. <laughs> so you guys have so far have played three stops, brought your version of pop punk to the masses. How do you make sure that you leave a lasting impression with those Warped Tour fans? Um, we're, like, really energetic. We try to be as energetic as possible on stage, like, really get the crowd involved, um... Yeah, we just bring it to the table on stage, and anybody that watches us, I think, can see that. And uh, we definitely, like, I think we do a good job. How are you guys able to bring the energy to your set as well as the crowd in, well, a day like today where it's just gross? You just got to muster through it. Uh, thankfully, we haven't had to play the hot, hot dates yet. <laughs> but, I mean, I would be down to, but it would be a task. Um, it's, it is very hot, uh, but you still have to, you got to push through it and just still have fun and do what you do. And... Yeah, like, if, if you're, like, having fun on stage and you're setting an example for the kids watching you, I think they kind of take to that and kind of, like, you know, feed off your energy and feed off whatever you do, so. Just look out, because tomorrow, you know, you could end up on stage and awesome. eat all of your words, and <laughs> I'm going to call you out on it completely. So tell us a little bit about your music. Is there one song um, that you have out that is the most indicative of your sound or that you just really like the best? I think right where we, it's called right where we eh, right. That's a great song. That's yeah, you like that song right where we belong. It's a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. But um, that's like our anthem. That's like our anthem song. We have like a big big pool party music video to it, and it's like our last song we play. It just gets everyone involved. It's like uh, yeah, that's that's like I think our song. What, what a lot of people know is by. It's easy to move around to to sing along with, and gets the kids involved, gets everybody involved. I mean, we're all jumping on stage. They're all jumping on the in the crowd. So. It's, it's a lot of fun. It sounds fun. Um, growing up, though, what music did you listen to when time as a teenager sucks? Uh, I grew up listening to a lot of Newfound Glory, Blink-182, MXPX, Goldfingers, all the classic early 2000s, late 90s punk rock, pop, pop punk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, at least you have good taste in music. That's, yeah. that's a good start, too. Some, same thing. I mean, he's actually my brother, so anything he listened to, I listened to. Because he's, he's six years older than us. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, going going along, Good Charlotte, Simple Plan, um, Sum 41. I don't think you mentioned those, but all the bands that used to be on MTV when MTV played music videos. Sad God, I miss they, that, yeah, right? Right, yeah. Now it's just, like, pregnant yeah. teenagers. Teen Mom. Teen Mom, yeah. That show plays on there, like, 24-7. Sure, and people with beards. Is Duck Dynasty on MTV? I don't know. No. No. But I mean, there's a lot of shitty reality TV She's shows right. out there. She's so, right. so you guys, I, I'm from New Jersey, so I won't take offense to that last comment. You guys are, you guys are from Ohio. Um, is there anything in sort of your upbringing or just sort of life in general that you bring to the stage from Ohio? Some sort of vibe? No, I wouldn't say. I mean, no. Not the really. accent you do, I think. No, we don't have an accent. Everybody else has an accent. You have an accent. <laughs> You do. You have an accent. It, it's like the Midwestern accent. It's sort of a non-accent, but you, there's words. So is it soda or is it pop to you? Soda. Soda. It's, say it's pop. Well, that's your accent. It's actually your dialect if we want to be more specific, yes. but anyway. Um, have, 
have you been able to catch any sets then? Because you, I'm going to assume you've had to get up pretty early. I get out at like 10, 1030 every day. So yeah, I get to see the whole tour. Uh, oh, so you set up breakfast. Oh yeah, I do breakfast. I do coffee and I set up the drink station and stuff. And then I go out and I mingle throughout the day. So What's the best set you've caught? Ooh, best set. Uh, honestly, yesterday's Less Than Jake set. They're, they're, it was their full year of Warp Tour. Yeah, I was gonna say if you didn't say that, especially yeah. today. Well, yeah, honestly, that was that was their best. Well, not their best, but that was the best set I've seen so far. Um, but I, I watch sets every day. I watch Mayday Parade every day. I watch Bayside. I watch uh, We the Kings. I catch a lot of stuff. I don't get into the heavy stuff, so I avoid the monster stage. That's not my forte. Um, but yeah, I watch. I watch everything. I, I try and catch some stuff. Bad rabbits all day. Br all day. Uh, Oh, nice. Base that as well. Nice. I'll give, I'll give you to that. Um, has there been anything that you've sort of learned or picked up from watching those sets that you're like, I like what they do. Maybe we could do something like that. Or I wouldn't do that. I don't, I mean, I think like we're, as musicians, we're pretty much like, we've, we've been doing this for a while. So we have our, our we we have our own feel on stage. And I don't know if we have to like take notes anymore. I feel like, I think we're ready to go. We're ready to like bring what we have, and, uh, yeah. All right. So what's up next for you guys after Warp Tour? After Warp Tour, we go on a little fall tour um, through, like, the Boston, New York, New Jersey, East Coast type deal, um, and then we record an album in the winter. Have you been contacted by Disney or anyone else about your band name? Not yet. Don't do it. <laughs> the Wonder Years did it. Touché. So stay tuned for much more from Boy Meets World. This is Jackie, thanks to All Access and In the Key of Change. See ya. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. That was fun.